parenting isn't so much about your perceived ideologies of what you're going to be like as a dad. You cannot control the children that you get. Me and my wife Harriet met doing expeditions and we were really excited about becoming parents. Dylan was born in August 2012 and he was born a, a healthy young boy. About three months into it, we realized that Dylan wasn't fixing and following. We then went to the doctors and they said it should improve. And we started doing a number of eye tests on him. And it was through those eye tests that we realized that something wasn't quite right. It was just after a year in that we went to the geneticist and they said that we'd found um, an abnormality in his genetic makeup. And then she explained that he had 4Q deletion syndrome. This basically means that part of his fourth chromosome wasn't made correctly and is actually missing. And it's a rare genetic disorder and that has a massive impact on his communication, his mobility and his muscle tone and um, his cognitive development. We had experts in every field tell us that they had no idea what was wrong with Dylan. It got to a point where we were really just alone. Looking back at it, it was probably one of the most worrying times of my life. We also have a daughter by the name of Alexa, who is now four. The problem we have is that we have to put a lot of emphasis on how Dylan wants things, and a lot of the time we miss out Alexa's feelings. Dylan has to be our priority because of his condition. Now we're starting to break up as a family. When we found out about the Sandcastle Trust, I had just changed career paths because I couldn't be away from home for a long period of time and I really needed to be home to support my family and Dylan. We were really tight financially. We couldn't afford the Center Parks trip and they reached out and made it incredibly simple for us. And it was a real opportunity for us just to go and forget about everything. It came at the time that we really needed it. The condition was controlling our family when we just needed to go, have a couple of ice creams, go on a couple of slides and just remember how good it is to be a family. Being a parent to a child with a rare chromosome disorder has helped me grow and understand the importance of communities. It's also really taught me to become more focused on the present and enjoy every moment as opposed to worrying about the things that you can't control. So you can apply to the Sandcastle Trust if you or a member of your family has been affected by a rare genetic condition, that's regardless of age, and we also support bereaved families. Mm -hmm.